Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats as the show is about to begin. And today's show is about the splendiferous Chinese pink USB charger, which is one of the most dangerous I've ever seen. Now, you may recall um, in a recent video I took this one apart and did the schematic, and I was going to do the same to this one, but I kind of changed my mind quite early on when I noticed some pads were really, really close together, and it's these tiny little pads here. Now, I'm going to, um, I'm going to bring up a, an exhibit here, which is a larger scale image. And what we've got here is, this is actually the transformer, the output transformer, that's putting the um, low voltage, it steps the voltage down, and it's putting it out along this ribbon cable to the USB connector. And there's also feedback, unfortunately, coming at mains voltage. Now, this means that this is the secondary winding, uh, this is the primary winding, and this is a feedback winding. Okay. Now, I thought initially that these two pads were just connected, and I thought it was quite odd because there's obviously a track there, and that kind of it seems odd to have two adjacent connectors going out and on the ribbon cable, but it turns out they're not connected at all, although they look it. And I had to look at this through a microscope to see what distance there was of separation, because it turns out that this is a low voltage connection and this is a high voltage connection. And this low voltage connection is connected by a track to this one. So these two pads are basically the only isolation between the high voltage and low voltage side. And to measure that, I had to look through a microscope and put a small uh, ruler in. And the distance between the pads was a quarter of a millimeter. Oop, I've got that upside down. That's okay, I'll fix that. Quarter of a millimeter or one hundredth of an inch. That's at best. That's me being generous. And as if that wasn't bad enough, the two pads, when I first looked at them, they're kind of shaped a wee bit to try and avoid each other. There was that usual wick that you get of the resin flux and a little ball of solder all over it. So, um, yeah, maybe I should have done an insulation test on that before I scraped it all away to get the measurement. So, when you actually take a meter to this, let's stick it to continuity. Continuity is good enough for this. And I'll just go out, test, beep, yep. So, just to confirm, this pad here is the low voltage one. And it's going effectively, well, it, it actually, it's going to the diode, but because the coil is so, such low resistance, it's effectively a near dead short circuit to the housing of the USB connector. And the other pad, so hard to get onto that, is going through a single semiconductor junction to the 330 volt DC rectified supply. And that's full through a full wave bridge rectifier, which means that really all you've got between you and electrocution, if that if there was a tiny bridge in that joint, if it got if even a, a hint of moisture or tracking, it's just, you know, you're you're just nowhere there's nowhere to run. It's really it's just so close to the mains. This is so dangerous. And that's why uh, you may have noticed that I've stuck a video up a little uh, dance track video, which uh, just basically, it's a song about deadly pink USB chargers from China. And uh, this is the one the song's about, because this is just horrendous. So, um, yeah, not impressive, but very nice, but deadly. <laughs>